I'm ready for the next also, I noticed every time you kill an opponent and use your teleport to the next opponent thing on kill effect, it resets your auto attacks, which is pretty nice. I I'm not sure, but I think that's how that works. Uh, let's see. Did we get... Thunderfield. Thunder there we go. Generates a wall of lightning around Windbell. Oh, that's nice. It's not really using this. I use this more, lady. All right, let's uh, deactivate photon flash. I'm using this either, to be honest, but uh, she's not. Thunderblade spread. Let's deactivate these. Let's force the AI to use some of these abilities. What about you, friend? Wow, you're not really using this, are you? Stop that, stop that. This might completely destroy him, but... <laughs> Get us some abilities. What about you? You have a buttload of abilities. And you're using none of it. The, the AI is really bad at aerial... Aerial combat... What the? 897? Calm down, please. There's a variety of skills. Alright, well this should... This might hurt me in the long run, but... But, uh... Let's get those skills, uh... Skill counts up so that we get some new abilities. Another question is what do I use? I definitely think we should put in Swallow Blade. I like Swallow Blade to be honest. And it also has the flaming edge on it. Battle. Zugul Shell West. The West card of the Zugul Shells. This looks nice and tough. Poor Zugals, man. <laughs> Being used for everything. Food, target practice, armor, materials, weapon materials. You name it. <laughs> also means you can sell that old armor. Unless it's important armor. We'll see. We shall see. Hey, Law. Back when we left Sisladen. You remember how you said, so long as you don't give up, there's nothing to stop someone starting over? Yeah? Well, I think you did just that. You've set out on a new path despite what happened in your past. <sighs> Besides, you're not the only one fumbling your way through things. You too? It was your dad who taught me to fight. Back at the start of all this, I knew that so long as I followed him, I wouldn't end up straying. But it was also your dad who told me the importance of becoming my own master. Of searching out the answers within me. I always figured I would one day. But at the same time, I had so much more to learn. When he died, I suddenly found myself rudderless. Sure, our immediate goal is to defeat all the lords. But then what comes after that? There's no one left to point me in the right direction. It was then that I realized... No matter how much I fret about it, the only thing I can do is fight. Renin brutality isn't going to right itself. So that's what I'm doing. Fighting. And in the meantime, I'll try to figure out my next move. Right now, that's about all I can do. And you really believe you got what it takes to win this? Against all the odds? Yes, I do. Or at least I want to. If I'm being completely honest, sometimes I'm not really sure whether I can or not. So what if we're still figuring stuff out? If we do it together, then we can support one another along the way. Is there anything so wrong with that? No, I don't think there is. I think I get it now. We may not know what we're capable of, but we have to try all the same. Having another one of your secret meetings? Don't tell me you are taking yet another bathroom break. Oh, 
We were just engaging in a bit of brotherly bonding. Isn't that right, Alfin? Yeah, that's right. Hmm? Fine then, suit yourselves. Hey, I think I can feel a breeze up ahead. I bet the exit is real close. Finally! Man, it's been too long since I felt the sun on my face. It's been like 30 minutes, man. Calm down. <laughs> oh no, this is not a long one. <laughs> when I get in a tussle, I go full force right at him. Whoever makes the first move wins. I do have to admit, it's quite the spectacle to watch you charge in and go to town on someone during a battle. Yeah, it was actually my old man who taught me to fight that way. The more I lay the beat down on some baddies, the more fired up my fists of fury get. Zephyr taught you? Wow, I guess you really are following in his footsteps. There's nothing wrong with being so focused on offense, but the enemy always fights back at some point. Eh, as long as I don't get hit, it's not a problem, right? So what you're saying is you're too weak to take a hit. You're not exactly one to talk. I like Rinville. <laughs> She's funny. What were you two talking about earlier? Earlier? Oh, it was just serious guy talk. You know, the kind that girls don't get to hear. Really? Don't mind him, Rinwell. It's just... Maybe it is a little difficult to talk about in front of women. Difficult to talk about? Okay, now I really want to hear it. Unless... It's not the creepy sort of guy talk, right? No! Okay, it's not creepy! Okay, okay. As long as you're fighting fit, you can talk about whatever you like. Rinwell, Rinwell by far is the best voice actor here. They're all pretty good, although La is uh, a little bit cringy from time to time. <laughs> I think Hoodle senses something. Ah, look at this. What a nice change of pace this is. To be able to look at like multicolored... Uh... We're finally here. Elden Menencia, the land of green. The place certainly lives up to its name, doesn't it? Yeah, just feel that breeze. It's like night and day compared to Calaglia and Cislodia. Unsullied fertile land, as far as the eye can see. That's beautiful. <laughs> what? Well, oh, nothing. Just... I was thinking the very same thing. That's the realm capital in the distance. The city of Vicent. A word to the wise before we continue. Elda Menencia has produced more sovereigns over the years than any other. Uh, Xion! Guess we should probably follow after her, shouldn't we? Hey, you all right, Law? Yeah, fine. I was just thinking how Dad would have enjoyed this view. All this green in one place is incredible. Anyway, let's get moving before we start looking tasty to monsters. Is he going to be okay? Eventually. That's a wall he'll have to overcome on his own. Alright, Xion let her soft personality slip out for a little bit. So if I remember right, there are six elements of astral energy, and darkness is only on Rena, and light can only be found on Dana, right? Right. I only remember because my parents drilled it all into my head when I was little. How did we find out about dark astral energy in the first place if it's not on Dana, though? Beats me. 
I couldn't tell you how or when we figured out that sort of stuff. I'm sure there's other stuff we've forgotten along the way, too. Yeah, I bet. And then we forget that knowledge was even forgotten at all, and it's back to square one. Exactly. That's why we need to take good care of what knowledge and artifacts we still have left. You really have a thing for old stuff, don't you? Well, I don't know that I'd call it just a thing. It's also something that helps me feel connected to our world. Connected? It's nothing. Forget I even mentioned it. I should have guessed that there'd be no way he'd understand. How could he? Rindle's, uh, Rindle's backstory actually seems extremely rich compared to all the other characters. Like Alphans and the Shions is a well, Shions is a slightly more. Well, they're both like mystery boxes. Laws seem straightforward, but uh, but uh, Rindle's backstory seems very like uh, lore rich. It's not just personal. It seems like uh, it has a lot to do with the world that we're in. It's very interesting to figure, like, I would like to know more about her stuff before we learn more about Alfin and Xion. Uh, man, look at this stuff, though. Looks great. So fresh. I was kind of worried that, um... I was kind of worried that the, uh, the zones would be very, like, stereotypically monotonous based on the elements and whatnot like the first one was just red and the second was just blue dark bluish or blue i guess but uh i'm glad they mixed in some um i mean it's still <laughs> mostly green but you know there's some sky some planet you know, like rena but uh, you know there's a variety in it you can look at different uh different colors and stuff and shapes it's nice not that the previous zones looked ugly, but it was getting a little monotonous. Can you take care of them? No sooner said than done. I'm on it. I'll run you These poor birds to death. Don't take your eyes off the prize. I'm quite aware without you reminding me. Poor birds, man. <laughs> I have no chance in hell. <laughs> like, what did we do? Thank goodness we won. Urbana. Oh, wait. Did I miss something? Hold on, hold on. I think I may have missed something. Not those. Yeah, I did miss it. Almost bamboozled me, game. Almost. But not quite. Not quite. I'm pretty sure I know how I'm gonna spend those um, herbs. I'm gonna give mo mostly all the defensive stuff to the main. Do you sense one of your friends, Hoodle? Right, there's a there's an owl here as well. Uh, mostly gonna give the defensive stuff to whoever becomes the main healer, or if there are more healers than one, I don't know. Um, that's probably gonna be Shion. <sighs> Uh, I really have to hurry. Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> What's wrong? What's wrong? My buddies got hurt real bad. They can't even move. That's not good. Are they close by? Huh? Are you saying you can help them? Xion? Yes! They're just up along this path. Please, you've got to help. A healer and her patience. I appreciate the short dialogue. Beat the injured boy, and then I didn't see the tomato. All right, let's start with you. Uh, 
My wounds have closed up. You saved me. Please let me thank you. Yeast tail. Let's also keep an eye out for the owl. Wow, that's crazy. It doesn't hurt anymore. Eggs. Wow. <laughs> Hmm. There's one other person up further ahead. Would you mind taking a look at him? <sighs> Just a look? Yeah, I'll see what I mean once you find him. Is this a trap? Man, I'm famished. What is my frames are dropping a little bit in this area? Uh, you won't notice it, because you'll see 60 FPS regardless, but uh, I play it higher. Alright, well, there is a resting site right here, so... I hate camping out. Let's kill these. It's was about to use a, uh, a gel of some sort, but that's not... Right. Hit. Slash. Glacial Spear! Here's the evil! Slash. It's over! Uh, Is that? I'm not done! You got flyers! I've got this! Let a marksman handle it! Let me All yours! You through. You're mine! Swallow blade! I'm on it! Come and get it! Blow away! Got you! Your field. It's over! I bet I can get the falcon thing after this. These little ones are hardly worth our time. Talking more pummeling. I'm pretty worn out. You got fang. Want to rest up for a bit? Got some new rocks. Right. Ooh, I see the owl. I see you, friend. Let's go grab it right away. Look at that. <laughs> These are orange. Okay, that's not the voice I expected <laughs> for that owl. Red tropical. Ho, ho, ho. Hmm, there's fish here. Look, Hoodle, one of your buddies. Woo! Right. Well, we still don't have fishing rods, so. Skimp. Why do you keep staring at me, Shion? Just what is that wolf on your shoulder? Oh, this thing? I love it! I got it off a street vendor for just 10 gold! I don't know if that's something to brag about. Hey, 10 gold's a bargain if you ask me. Because it wouldn't sell otherwise. It serves no practical purpose. Honestly, I'm surprised you paid 10 whole gold for it. Shut up! But the detail is so lifelike. I think you made a good choice, Law. Really? I have no idea why you wear it over your shoulder, though. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. 87! 88! 89! Oh, shoot! What the? Is the enemy attacking? Uh, sorry about that. You're not hurt, are you? Law? What on Dana are you doing? What am I doing? Training, obviously. I found these nice and heavy rocks that I decided to strap onto my arms, but I guess I didn't tie them down good enough because they went flying. So you were doing improvised weight training. <laughs> you and your crazy ideas. I can't help it. If I'm not training, it's easy for me to get anxious. Well, that's fair. Actually, I remember seeing you practicing your forms for some time when we were camping the other day. Yep. No amount of muscle will do you any good if you don't stay on top of your fighting forms. It always feels good when I know I'm still sharp. Sounds to me like you have too much pent-up energy. Don't train so hard that you wind up hurting yourself, Law. I promise you, you're already perfectly strong as it is. No, I'm not. You never know what we'll run into out there. You can never go into a fight too prepared. And that's the truth. Besides, I won't rest until I know that I'm stronger than you, Alfin. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. Well, I don't plan on letting you beat me. Hmm, maybe I'll add some weights to my sword and practice swinging it. That should help out. Uh, Alvin, are you crazy? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. This does make for decent training. 
Good call with the extra weight law. Right? Now you get it! Since we've already come this far, what do you say we have a little one-on-one -on -one with our rocks strapped on? Hell yeah! I'm down for that! Just give me a second, I'll be all ready to roll! Okay, I'm all set. Let's do this! Take this! I'm just getting started! Uh. Ah! Our camp is completely wrecked! Go. You two are cleaning it up. Yes, yes Shion. Shion. Predictable, but still a little funny. Let's see, I think we can go for a rare orb. As we're probably gonna run into the city soon. Hell yeah! There's no way you can complain about how this tastes! Ooh, let's go for Law. Mind if I join you, Law? Hey, Alfin. When do you find the time to train? What's brought this on all of a sudden? It's just, even without the Blazing Sword, you'd still be able to hold your own, right? But I never see you training. I'd hardly call it a regimen. Unless exchanging blows with Zoogles counts. I mean, sure, I get that real-life practice beats training any day. But you must have the odd trick or two up your sleeve. I just told you. I really don't. Wait, I've got it. It's your armor, right? You channel the extra weight into your strikes and... It's actually not as heavy as it looks. So not the armor, huh? In that case... <sighs> just calm down a little, would you? Why are you so fixated on this anyway? Well, because I want to make myself stronger. You're strong enough as it is. I almost feel sorry for those Renan soldiers. It's not enough. I need to keep working to get stronger. I won't allow myself to fail anyone again. Law? I'm useless the way I am now. If someone else dies because of me... Law! Uh, uh, sorry. Spiraling into self-doubt won't do me any favors. I know that. None of us are invincible, Law. We're all just getting by, doing the best we can. That's all we can ask of each other, right? It's as good a place as any to start, I guess. To start what? My new training regimen, of course. And what better way to kick it off than push-ups? One, two, three, four. <laughs> I admire your enthusiasm. Just don't overdo it, okay? Just wait. You'll see how strong I can get. All right. Night. <laughs> Night. All right. I feel pretty refreshed after. Th uh, okay. Can't sleep. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's sell stuff first. That was very little stuff to sell. Um, the armor. I guess that's some sort of story armor, so we can't sell it. How about we forge some weapons? All right. Got some new stuff here, but we're missing titanium vambrace and glam tentacle. No glam tentacle. Granite fang. Well. It's a fang, so we know what you're gonna run into soon. Uh, that's an upgrade. Clay fragment. Well, we have more than enough for this. And that is... is that dark? Oh yeah, that does look dark. That's a pretty damn cool weapon, actually. Look at that. A very cool weapon. That's the coolest weapon so far. That's good. This we just have to wait. It's actually very expensive. <laughs> I didn't see the price. Um, is that light? Uh, I guess. Sure. Let's grab it. That's why we have the money. Oh, he actually gets uh, the best one. Fire. Okay. Not sure if he has any fire moves, but we'll get it nonetheless. Accessories. Lucky Bangle still can't. Swift. 
Grants plus 50% movement speed in battle and reduces escape time by 50%. I actually haven't pressed the escape button yet, so... And I will never do that. I don't escape from combat. I reload save files. <laughs> actually, I don't even do that. Well, there's no point in looking at this yet. Um... Well, actually, maybe there is. What do we have? Curse Resistance Smackdown. No. Doesn't seem that good. Maybe Curse Resistance is pretty good, but Smackdown seems pretty... Um... Yeah, that seems uh, useless. Well, not useless, but I'd rather... I'd rather put points into stuff that helps... Uh... In fights versus bosses. Alphen, Arms Collector. Ooh, a free AG. Thank you very much, game. Uh, I think I'm saving for Rising Phoenix, actually. Uh, would like another... Uh... Oh, wait, what? Oh, never mind, this is a... Uh... Oh, I saw, I saw a Flaming Edge, it's not a... Oh, Rising Falcon is the one I was thinking about. Um, actually, yeah, we'll, I mean, we'll get it, because it will unlock new abilities. But I was kind of hoping to get a skill that extends my airtime. Not a skill that ends my airtime, you know? Um, let's... Please BG at the start of battle. Yes, please. You law nothing. <laughs> okay. I always love the sound of hammers banging away. Well, we got something new. Can go for a rising falcon, I guess. Okay, let's try it out. Everything else is above hundred. Sure. Let's try it out. So okay. Not even remotely in the. Do I have to aim with my forward button? This time I didn't press anything. Some AG for this. It seemed that good. It seems very inconsistent. The other one just straight up teleports you to the target. Oh, whatever. Maybe it. Uh, maybe it gives me something good. <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna jump into the air and use Rising Falcon. We're in good form. What the hell are you wearing? This warm light might it be clam tentacle. Mm -hmm. Oh oh my! What sorcery is this? Might you be a miracle worker of some sort? It's just a healing art. No, this no this is no mere healing art at work mm -hmm. here. I sense compassion flowing through this energy. Compassion is themed with just the slightest hint of loneliness and emptiness. Even it's got you pegged. Alphen, <laughs> why are you agreeing with him? Keep it up and I won't heal you next time you're in trouble. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> you see, this is how true bliss feels. Hey. Will you shut up already? Anyway, how did you get hurt? Did a Zoogle attack you or something? Mm -hmm. Something to that effect. You see, one of the foul beasts ambushed us and injured my companions. And in my fright, I took quite a tumble and came crashing down. Just great. Oh, so the Zoogle didn't actually hurt you then? Where is it now? Is it gone? So it seems, after I let forth the most ferocious bellow I could muster, it appears to have fled in fear. Well, be careful in your travels. See you. Wait, be. don't leave yet. I'm a minstrel who tells many a tale about this fleeting world in which we live. They call me the Wonder Bard. <sighs> Is there a reason why you decided to share that with us? I could tell from the very moment your, our eyes met that the two of you are something special. You're not like most others in this world. I'm keen to witness with my own eyes just how this rich tapestry of emotions you two share comes to unfold. Nice. Well, no harm in that, I guess. Name's Alfin. 
Hey, don't indulge in this indulge this creep. Very well. It's a pleasure to meet you both. Hen henceforth, we are bound by fate, destined to meet one another again. I'm certain things shall only get more dramatic from here. Look forward to the day our paths cross once more. <laughs> and on that note, I must take my leave. There are others out there who yearn to hear my most beautiful voices. Adios, via condom. Okay. That hand is uh, placed in a very uh, not so good place. Crude healing arts. Ooh, that is very good. An intermediate healing art that gradually restores, restores HP to all allies within its circumference. That I will grab. AoE healing? Yes, please. Not even gonna argue with that. That hand should not be there. <laughs> Maybe we should have left them alone. Thanks, Gian. Why are you thanking me? All right. Well, I suspect we're gonna run into something. Can I do anything with this new uh, skill? This, uh, new skill points that I got. I could. Let's get Placid Pool. It's uh, an aerial down downwards attack, so it's gonna take a while for the AI to actually uh, just counter attack. I don't think the enemy does a lot of counter attacks, and we're a little bit lo like low on lost stuff here. Um, let's save it. I don't see anything that's immediately great. I think Hoodle senses something. But all of this looks so nice. Oh. You okay? You made a weird sound. <laughs> Sorry. I was just thinking how amazing this view is. What's the matter? Haven't you ever seen mountains and fields before? Actually, now that I think about it, it's not every day we get to enjoy views like this. You too? Yeah, Calaglia has rocky landscapes, but the terrain here is completely different. Like, you see that mountain over there? Doesn't it look like a big wave that somebody turned into stone? Right? And those ones look like the horns or claws of some giant monster. I'm surprised they managed to stay up. Yeah, just be thankful we don't have to pass under them. Actually, they won't come tumbling down that easily. <sighs> You sure about that? Menencia harvests Earth energy, which explains why the topography is so varied here. It's also why those rocks are bound to be sturdy. So all that astral energy is also what makes this realm look so lush then. Does astral energy really have that much of an impact on the land? Yeah. Is that why even that mountain looks the way that it does? The stronger the energy is, the greater impact it has on lots of things. So yes, like a great big fire. But these imbalances are too pronounced to be nature's work. It's not how Dana would otherwise naturally look. If it's not natural, then you mean all of this is the Renans doing? <sighs> when you put it like that, even something as nice looking as this starts to feel wrong. 